It ain't half hot, mum, took the British television scene by storm between 1974 and 81 with its brilliant comedy and unique portrayal of a Royal Artillery concert party stationed in India and Burma during the Second World War. Join us as Facts vs. UK presents It Ain't Half Hot Mum cast Who Died and Who Is Still Alive. Windsor Davies Windsor Davies, born in London in 1930, rose to fame with his unforgettable role as Sergeant Major Shut Up Williams. Windsor's performance set a new standard for television, opening doors to a prosperous career that included TV shows and films like Ring Out an Alibi, The New Statesman, Terra Hawks, Never the Twain, and the acclaimed Carry On series. Demonstrating his flexibility as an entertainer, he topped the music charts with the novelty track Whispering Grass, a duet he produced with his sitcom co-star Don Estelle. Davies made his final TV appearance in the sitcom My Family in 2004. He peacefully passed away in his French home in 2019 at age 88. Melvin Hayes Renowned for his role as bombardier Gloria Beaumont, Melvin Hayes brought his distinctive style to every project. After the series, his career remained varied, including a 15-week pantomime season at the prestigious London Palladium in 1981. Alongside his wife, Jane, Hayes demonstrated his philanthropy by caring for over 50 foster children in addition to their seven biological children. In 2011, the couple relocated to the Serene Isle of Wight to provide a tranquil haven for their ever-growing family. George Layton Born March 2, 1943, George Layton shined as bombardier Solly Solomons in the two initial series. His magnetic personality ensured he remained a fixture in the industry, leading to roles in dramas like ITV's Minder and voice work in the animated series Pigeon Street. His diverse talents were further exhibited while appearing in shows like The Sweeney and EastEnders. He's additionally been known for his writing contributions to sitcoms such as On the Buses and Nearest and Dearest. At 80 years old, he still appears to be active in the entertainment industry. Don Estelle Manchester native Don Estelle, born May 22, 1933, gained fame as Gunnar Lofty Sugden in It Ain't Half Hot Mum. As we've touched on, his vocal prowess was evident when his duet, Whispering Grass, performed with Windsor Davies, topped the charts. He demonstrated his acting range through varied roles, including Dad's Army and The League of Gentlemen. Estelle's 1999 biography, Thoughts of a Gemini, offered fans a rare glimpse into his remarkable life. His death in August 2003, aged 70, marked a significant loss to the entertainment world. Michael Bates Michael Bates was a British actor renowned for his unique comic flair. Born December 4, 1920, in Jhansi, British India, Bates grew up bilingual, a skill that later served him well in his acting career. His most notable role was that of Ranji Ram in It Ain't Half Hot Mum. The series featured Bates as a comedic element, bridging the gap between the British soldiers and the local Indian culture, often humorously translating and interpreting the intentions of both sides. Despite the controversial nature of his role, which has since been labeled politically incorrect, his performance was highly appreciated for its comedic timing and authenticity. Bates' acting career was cut short by his untimely death in 1978 when he died of cancer at age 57. Donald Hewlett Born August 30, 1920, seasoned actor Donald Hewlett depicted the likable Colonel Charles Reynolds. His broad career encompassed British sitcoms and films, underscoring his adaptable acting talents. In his later years, Hewlett lived in Fulham, southwest London, with his third wife. His daughter, Siobhan Hewlett, followed in his footsteps by entering into acting as well. Hewlett succumbed to pneumonia at age 90, June 4, 2011. Michael Knowles Michael Knowles, born in 1937, is an adept actor best known for his work in numerous TV sitcoms. Born in Salford, Knowles embarked on his acting career after graduating from the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. It ain't half hot mum, he brought to life the character Captain Ashwood, whose refined demeanor provided a humorous contrast to the rough and ready soldiers under his command. Knowles also featured in Dad's Army, another BBC comedy created by the iconic Jimmy Perry and David Croft and made guest appearances in popular shows like Are You Being Served and You Rang My Lord. Outside his comedic roles, Knowles had an extensive resume in radio, theater, and film. At 86, he continues to be celebrated for his contribution to British comedy and his rich portrayal of characters. Christopher Mitchell 
Christopher Mitchell, born in 1947, was an actor recognized for his comedic talent and his roles in various sitcoms and movies. He's most notably remembered for his portrayal of Gunnar Parkins. His character was known for his Glaswegian accent and his gloriously comedic interactions with other members of the Royal Artillery Concert Party. Mitchell also had roles in Are You Being Served and Carry On England. He also appeared in drama series like Casualty and films like Jabberwocky and The Stud. Mitchell passed away at age 53 in February of 2001. John Clegg John Clegg, born July 9, 1934, in Murray, British India, now Pakistan, to English parents, established himself as a well-respected actor in both theater and television. His initial artistic training was received at RADA, and he made early career connections at the Watford Palace Theatre Company, where he met his future wife, Mavis Pugh, and future collaborators like Jimmy Perry. His work ranged from farces like Charlie's Aunt to thrillers like Gaslight. His first TV role was in Dixon of Doc Green in 1961, and he went on to make numerous television and film appearances. But his most recognizable role was in It Ain't Half Hot Mom as Gunnar Graham appearing in all 56 episodes. His later career included roles in Dad's Army, Are You Being Served, Bless This House, and a recurring role in You Rang, My Lord. He also took part in film productions like Tom and Viv, Shooting Fish, Keep the Apidistra Flying, and more. Alongside acting, Clegg co-produced a one-man show about Rudyard Kipling, further displaying his diverse range of skills. At 89, Clegg is still with us, but it appears as if he's since retired from acting. Stuart McGugan Born March 2, 1944, in Scotland, Stewart is best known for his roles as Gunnar McIntosh in It Ain't Half Hot Mum and Bomba McAteer in Tutti Frutti. Starting in 1975, he was a regular presenter on BBC's Play School for over a decade. He then played diverse roles in shows like Wish Me Luck and The Chief. In the mid-90s, he took on the role of the pub owner Barney Meldrum in BBC Scotland's Hamish Macbeth. He also graced the stage with the Middle Ground Theatre Company, brilliantly reenacting Colonel Jock Sinclair in the stage adaptation of Tunes of Glory. While he might not be as active as he once was, at 79, his successful career continues. Dino Shafiq Dino Shafiq, born Golam D. Shafiq in 1930 in Dhaka, Bangladesh, was a notable Bangladeshi-British comedy actor who gained fame in the 1970s and early 80s. After moving to the UK in 1958, he made his first appearance in 1967's The Long Duel. He became a beloved figure in British television, notably playing Chaiwala Muhammad in It Ain't Half Hot Mum and Ali Nadim in the ITV sitcom Mind Your Language. His acting range also extended to various films and TV series like Carry On Emmanuel, Minder, and The Onadin Line. Shafiq's life came to an end when he unexpectedly passed away from a heart attack in his London home in March of 1984. Now it's time to hear from you. Who is your favorite character in It Ain't Half Hot Mum? Let us know in the comments section below.